Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 457. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it, shall we? So first news is uh, Portmart Pony figures appear on AliExpress. So the new Portmart figures we posted in a few weeks ago have been somewhat difficult for people outside of China to track down. But they are now starting to appear on AliExpress a bit simpler um, sorry, for a bit simpler purchasing. They can ship from China, but at least they are like any other online store to buy from with the usual buyer's pro pro production. Yes. Unfortunately, the only option is blind box right now. This may be the case for uh, the entire lifetime of this, as the boxes up above are what they apparently come in. Hopefully, people will be willing to trade so everyone can get a specific figure they want. So, yeah. Um, th this is like the blind box situation where you buy a figure, you open it, you get, get it, uh, and if you are, how to put this, and if you buy the whole box, buy, buy, buy the carton, um, not the carton, but just buy the whole thing, it's much simpler because you can get almost all of it, from what I understand. Like, each one of them is the specific ponies. So, you won't get anything random. But if you were to buy one of them at the same, just one, you might be picking out from the list. So you'll be picking up uh, Rainbow Dash, and then you'll be picking up uh, Fluttershy and so on. But if this is a seller from China, so what would happen is they just grab whatever they want, put it into the shipping thingy, and send it to you. So you'll get random. Even if you buy, what, two of them, they might pick out from different boxes, and somehow you might get the same thing. So, <clears throat> uh, I saw this and, sorry, uh, when I was scrolling Twitter, I saw Dusty, uh, Dusty Cat, and he got his, and I'm just going to scroll through the picture, and yeah, uh, uh, that looks good, but, oh no, <laughs> um, but this picture here, this is what really got me, and I see that he has, I would say all of it, but he has a lot of it, and um, looking through, well, I'm, I'm just going to scroll through so you guys can see. Um, from what he says, these things are high quality and super cute. And yeah, people are asking, um, where where you get this at? And he says, like, you have to order them from Asia. And then, uh, where do I order them from? Taobao and so on. So apparently, it's not only AliExpress, you can get it on Taobao. Um, I'm guessing it's what uh <clears throat> let's see um glad you like them I was extremely impressed blah 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 uh the box rd uh, on for those pics is hidden from okay uh okay here here's one here's one mm. they look so good I love all the ponies they're so dynamic did you get them all in one case or was it random uh one case gets you the whole set. Okay, see, that's what I was saying uh, earlier. Uh, you get the whole case, you get every everything. And yeah, Dusty did that. So, technically, there's no random chance of getting doubles. So yeah, um, I'm not 100% sure how much is the case. You probably can ask Dusty yourself or go check out Tao Taobao, was it? Did you say Taobao? Yes, Taobao to look for the item. So, yeah, you know, honestly, I should probably look into this and consider getting one or the whole set. But man, uh, shipping from China or just shipping from anywhere on the world uh, coming into Malaysia, uh, they're going to charge you tax. Like I remember um, there's a video I did on the Gatewatch cast where I talk about buying something from the US and asking Silver to send it to me. So I, I'll just retell it and speed things up. I, I bought a magic card box thing and 
uh, it was about thirty dollars, thirty five dollars, and so on. And uh, it was free shipping to Silver. Uh, Silver sent it to me via DHL, and I had to pay tax for the product that I bought. <laughs> so yeah, uh, sending from uh, using DHL, sending it to Malaysia cost me tax. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if Silver just used uh, United States Postal Service, how uh, that would charge me, but um, Silver wanted it to reach me on time and safe. So I appreciate that. But at the same time too, um, I noticed that every time when I use DHL, I get tax. So that's something to ponder. But for AliExpress and so on, I got no idea if you get tax or not, but one of the few things I heard my friend told me is that anything that has to do with entertainment, um, be they video games, comics, or trading cards and so on, there's a high chance that you might get entertainment tax. That's what I understand. But if your country doesn't have that, that's great. But if you do, just be forewarned because buying a case of this might trigger the hey what's that should we tax it but yeah um i'm sure for available on aliexpress at ran for random boxes or a case on taobao so let's move on to the next news and the next news is my little pony pony life season two introduced the wild slide ciders peacock bat and tiger characters. So Pony Life, um, sorry, <clears throat> Pony Life's uh, React Season Two description mentioned something about portals and new, sorry, portals and new wild friends. Uh, some thought this was the Equestria Girls universe making its big intro to the show, following along with recent merchandise <laughs> merchandise release. But it looks like it might be something completely different. A coloring book uploaded to the Tiny Pop website has revealed a new cast of characters called the Wild Siders. We have three so far, including Echo the Bat, Lightning Chill the Tiger, and Sugar Snap the Peacock. Oddly enough, they all have horns and cutie marks. We have to see how that plays out in the end. Uh, you can find the full coloring book over here. Uh, I clicked this and got this and I didn't see the what you call this coloring book. Maybe I need to go into the galleries or something. Um, this has something to do with my region. Oh, that sucks. Boohoo. Uh, maybe this? Oh, no, I don't want to download that. Oh, silly. But anyway, um, this is interesting because, well, Pony Life is one of those shows that is completely random in its nature of storytelling. But introducing new lore, new characters like this is pretty fun. Um, like Sophisto mentioned, we got three new characters. A tiger, a bat, and a peacock, and all of them have horns. That is questionable. But um, we at least get some more varieties in characters, and well, with that, we can see the fan artists go crazy with arts. Uh, for now, we got no idea the validity of the characters because. Season 2, if I'm not mistaken, it's not out yet. And we got no idea if this is just a one-off or recurring characters. Or, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, judging from the picture we got here, I am pretty excited for the tiger. And I, I would love to know what what is up with them. Like, are they... Like, okay, a uh, parallel universe kind of situation where it's My Little Tigers or My Little Kitties or My Little Bats or My Little Peacock and so on. Is it something like that where uh, the prominent 
characters or the prominent animal for said universe is, uh, for example, a tiger. And that's why uh, we get like lightning kill the tiger. Like, is the tiger a allegory for Rainbow Dash? And so on. I mean, there's a lot to parse here. And I think this is one of... <laughs> Um, I think this is one of those situations where actually, I'm actually excited to see and find out more from Pony Life, which is pretty rare in my case. So yeah, um, I can't wait to check out this episode and see where it's going to well bring us. And with that, let's head to the next topic and what have I been doing with my week. So my week has been pretty okay. Nothing too serious or nothing too heavy um like i mentioned before wanted to try and watch a movie and i did i did um and uh, i splurged a little because it's not oh it's not often that i get the chance to watch a movie and i i went to watch one of the cool um what you call this seats like man this this is dumb like i i should have professed i should have gotten this ready oh man like this is seriously dumb okay uh, i'm just gonna show a picture like oh my god uh, yes that that is the theater seat that i went to watch in it, it's kind of a bit like what the hell um yeah i actually a little i went to watch monster hunter in hindsight it's not the best uh but still, I, I I went and watched, and Monster Hunter was rather interesting for a video game movie. It's how how do I put it? It's a fish out of water story where the main character, ah uh, man, Artemis, is pulled from our world into the Monster Hunter universe, uh, and the whole story is about how she and the hunter uh, played by Tony ja, get try to get along and work together to go to a specific spot and that's about it and it's it, it is, it's an interesting story where just two people don't really communicate that much because uh in the show Tony ja talks in Monster Hunter language, while uh, Artemis talks in plain English. And it's very interesting where the movie doesn't really portray um, Mila Djokovic's character as overpowered, like Alice in Resident Evil, the, the Resident Evil movies. In this one, she's kind of learning and adapting and trying to figure out how to survive in this universe and it's kind of cool it's it's really it's a really dumb action movie where you can just relax and just watch and if you're not a monster hunter diehard it's still entertaining because they pref um, they highlight or they just they repeat characters um, or monsters name like diabolus Diabolos. They, they mentioned that, oh, uh, or the hunter, Tony Just character, just says, oh, that is Diabolos. And Mila Jovovich's character says Diabolos. I mean, by them repeating, we get it too. But in all honesty, there's not much monsters in the movie. There's only a few. And the most prominent one, general people would know, is Diabolos because that is the main antagonist for the quote-unquote movie that's been hunting or that's been trying to eat uh, Artemis and the hunter. In near the end, we get to see the Rathalos and the only reason why I remember Rathalos is because, well, Rathalos is kind of a big deal in the Monster Hunter universe. He's like the Ryu to the Street Fighter or Twilight to Ponies. So yeah, that's why I can remember, but I don't. Rem I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if the general audience would 
know who Rathalos is and so on. But anyway, um, Monster Hunter side movie was interesting and fun, and the theater experience was great. Would I do it again? Yeah, probably. I uh, if I if I were to say that I would watch a movie like three months at a time, I probably will because it's not often that I get to do it. If I do it like in the before pandemic times. Every month, like probably no, but one of the few perks of the theater is that you spend this much, and you get free flow popcorns, a nice hot meal, and a drink, and you get to relax, and it's really good. Like I mentioned before, I would do it again, but not often. So anywho, uh, let's wrap things up. <clears throat> If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter, the show's Twitter account is at NBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio. And also, like our Facebook page, you can also catch us on PonyLife.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, please do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you will catch me, Totera, me and Totera, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. And those are comics, cartoons, video games, and animes. So, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the Review and Discussion Podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And also a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like... Oh my god, this is right. <laughs> and talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, like, and Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!